Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your Keurig K Supreme Smart Coffee Maker. So you got it plugged in, but you're trying to power it on and it won't power on. It's completely dead. I'm going to show you how to open it up and we're going to reset the thermostat. Okay, so first thing, unplug it and leave it unplugged for the duration. Okay, so we're going to turn it over. We got to take three screws out. Underneath these little plugs, there's a number two Phillips down in that hole. Same with there. We got to take this little piece off and there's a Phillips screw right there. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is this back part, you're going to get in this seam right here. It's going to pull straight off the back and kind of lift out a little bit. Helps if you have like some automotive tools and kind of come down from the top a little bit. There. Okay, so be careful of these wires and stuff, but I found if you kind of separate this area right here, we can start to kind of pull now there are some tabs you will have to release. There's a tab here, kind of down in there, down in there, down in there. What you do is you just take a screwdriver and kind of release it. Okay, so there's those tabs you have to release that go down into the feet there. And then you're just gonna kind of walk this off the front. You may have to lift the lever up a little bit, but this, there's some tabs there that's just gonna come out the front like that. Okay, so here I've got the heating element out of another Keurig K Supreme. There's our over temp thermostat, and it's got a little reset right there. So our, the one in this coffee maker is down in there. You're gonna go take a paper clip and you're gonna put it right in that hole there. And that's a little reset. You may hear it kind of like click just a little bit, but you gotta press it in there. And if you wanna check it to see if that was the problem before you reset it, if you take your continuity and put one on in, one in, you'll have it open. And then as soon as you reset it, you'll have continuity between here and here. And so if we look on this coffee maker, it is right there. It's kind of right there in the middle. So if you take your paper clip, again, you can go right there and you can reset that. Okay, so let's just take a look at the coffee maker. We got a water pump, we got an air pump, logic board. We got our low water sensor. So sometimes these things, um, the low water sensor doesn't work and then you can run it dry and that'll cause it to uh, over temp. But if you look up here, the water, the, the low water uh, sensor does have a vent. So when you put the tank on, the water displaces and goes in this tube here. But up here, right here is a vent. So a bug may have gotten right there and kind of blocked that vent. And that may be what's causing your low water like not to work. And sometimes during a descale. So sometimes during a descale, these things will overheat. Um, I have a video on how to descale these with the Keurig solution and with vinegar, and you should rest it for 30 minutes. So you should do the descaling process before you do the freshwater rest, rinses, let it rest for 30 minutes while it's in descale mode, then complete it after that 30 minutes. That does help that from overheating. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We're going to put this back in reverse order. Again, you've got to unsnap these and just pull apart. Okay, so let's put the front on first, lift the handle. This is gonna slide. There's some. There's two pins right here. You wanna kind of hook those on. You'll know they're hooked because this will be all flush up here. If you don't get this flush. There. Again, they're just not meant to be taken apart. Okay, so while you're getting this, you have to make sure to put those pins in it's gonna kind of rotate in all at once. Again, make sure this is all flush because there are two pins right there. Okay, so now we're gonna take this piece and you're gonna put it in and then snap it into place. Then you're gonna take this top part and it should snap on. So this is a little tricky. Sometimes you do have to kind of pop that back off in order to get this kind of on. Okay, so let's put our screws in, three screws in our little rubber feet. Okay, so now before I plug it in and turn it on, I wanna prime the pump. And I'm gonna show you, I got my water reservoir all the way filled up. I'm gonna take, put it on and lift it on and off about 10 to 20 times. What that's gonna do is that's gonna force some water kind of through the machine. If your pump was dry or say your heating element was dry, this is really gonna help out with that. So again, you'll see some bubbles, just do this. It really does help out. Okay, I plugged it in. Voila, I've got power back. Now my Keurig is working again. 
So lift this up, make sure there's not a cake up in here. We're gonna do a fresh water rinse. Click the hot water button, do a six ounce. Now it may steam and kind of puff some um, steam at you. It may sound a little weird because if that pump was dry or that heating element was dry, it kind of acts a little weird. But after this brew, then do another one and it should be normal. Yeah, so mine's working really good now. So check out my other videos. I got how to clean the needles with a, a paper clip. I got you how to descale with vinegar and the descaling solution. So I hope this video helped. If you could, please like and subscribe.